everyone. That's the question. Good morning. Welcome to Drive Time with Alec. I'm Alec. Am I the only one that ever got pumped up by jock jams? Because I probably am. God, I love jock jams, and that's such a nerd thing to like. Man, in high school, I was like, yeah, jock jams. Bring and pump you up. And everyone was like, you're weird. Like, no, we're not listening to that before the game. And I'm like, oh. No, I mean, I hate it too. It's lame. Again, who likes jock jams? I had all three CDs. <laughs> I know you did too. If you're like me, all three CDs of jock jams. God, it's so good. I got to bring it back. But, uh, hi. So, today, guys, uh, I had a viewer email by Jeremiah Purdom, who is my freaking hero. Guy, that guy's awesome. And he asks a very interesting question, and I'm going to read it because I'm not smart enough to uh, know how to add a. I can't remember it. So let's read it real quick and not crash. I want to measure animal use of areas around crossing structures, but I don't know the best methods and protocol to use. Well, that's a fantastic question, JP, and I'm glad you asked that because when I measure animal use of crossing areas, I always go with the John Stevenson model. See, John Stevenson was an explorer back in 1722, and when he was establishing his protocol for animal crossings over railroads, I don't know what I'm talking about at all. I can't answer that question. I feel dumb. But he asked, he asked another question too, and he said, how come uh, you and Steve Duggar went into business together as partners, and I heard that uh, friends should not be partners uh, because they will have conflict and it'll ruin their friendship, and uh, it's a really bad idea all around. Well, so how have you guys been doing it for three years, and uh, why is it so successful? And then he put a caveat in there that if it's not successful, we're hiding it really well. And I want to say thank you. God, my mustache is so bad. Oh, it's so bad. On the phone, I can see myself as I talk, and I just can't handle it. It is so... Oh, look at it. There's a little, little fit thin part there, but God, it's good. Oh, it's so gross. No, I mean, it's not gross. It's awesome. Back to the question. Do I look like a young Dr. Phil? Do I? Because I don't think I do. And if someone calls me Dr. Phil again, I'm going to punch a kitten. Punch one. Dead in the face. God. All right. Back to JP's question. Thank you for writing a question in. You know, um, I will tell you right now that when uh, I, I will definitely uh, not go into business with a, with a friend. I will tell you not to. Uh, the reason Steve and I has been so successful is mainly because of who Steve is and not necessarily because of who I am. Uh, typically in a friendship, it, it, the reason it's, it doesn't work is because uh, one person or both wants to control certain situations and you get into this conflict where there's no, um, what I want to say is like leading voice or, or vision potentially, right? Because both people have, a, have an equal ownership or if they don't, then one person wants to like submit, you know, kind of like exert dominance or like, I want to do this. And the other person's like, no. And then you have all this drama because you're friends and you have this, this painful experience trying to manage through choices and decisions. Well, uh, the great thing about Steve, uh, is that he is one of the only men I know that can hear feedback or criticism and respond with wisdom and maturity and patience and introspection, and uh, that's a that's a very rare commodity, folks. Because I can tell you right now, I have massive trouble doing that. I mean, if someone gives me feedback or criticism, then I'm like, ooh, I didn't like that. I mean, my gut, I get I get defensive, and I and all that stuff's just super immature. And I know that intellectually, but emotionally, I'm just I'm just a ten year old boy. Apparently, can't deal with it. Um, I do my best to deal with it. All right, I don't just frick. I'm not just horrible. But I'm sh I'm not Steve Duggar, so you know when I was thinking about going into partnership with Steve, um, I, I knew that he did that well, and it was one of the things that I've that I've relied on in our partnership because he can deal with me and handle his own and handle his business and, and better than others. So I, I would I would say that most people can't do that, and uh, when you're looking at that, it, it, I wouldn't recommend doing it if you think that they uh, if you know that they can't do that either. Because that's ask, asking for pain. 
And I'll tell you, being in partnership with a friend is not easy. I know I'm not easy with, I know that it's not easy to be in partnership with me, period. Uh, and I know that, uh, well, mainly because I'm, I'm super opinionated and aggressive and intense and always like, rah, and then I just do stuff all the time and I'm like, oh, I did this and I, I don't know. So, uh, but I think that obviously, you know, look, the cliches, you know, have good communication, have regular meetings. Uh, if you're in partnership with a friend, remember to bro out and hang out and not just always be about the business, you know, remember to enjoy why you are friends in the beginning and, you know, goof around and play video games and drink beer, even though I'm not drinking beer right now, which sucks. I love beer. But, um... That that's carries you through. So if you're thinking about getting in a partnership with a friend, ask yourself how well do they take criticism and feedback and input? Are they uh, how how well do they respond? What's that experience like? Because in running a business, all you're doing all day long is like, what about this? What about this? What about this? How about this idea? How about this? Let's do this. Let's not do this. And it's you got to have somebody that you can talk with that will be there with you and be able to work through issues and then work through drama and you know you're going to have pain and drama and you're going to be able to deal with it so that's massive for your friendship right can't handle that don't do it so generally on the whole preparation age does feel good god i'm sorry i'm an idiot i'm retarded i'm sorry i just can't it just it's all here and it just comes out and i don't mean to do it so i take that back um don't go into a relationship with a friend unless you've got that, and very rarely will you have that, so I would recommend not doing it. Uh, good question, JP. You're a stud, and the Animal Crossings thing, I will have to get back to you on that. In fact, I would probably ask you that question. So, I love you guys. You're awesome. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Send me an email. Give me a Facebook hug. Do something. Let me know you're there. And Katie... This is for you, Katie. Create a YouTube account and subscribe, all right? You break my heart every day that you're not a subscriber to me, every day. Peace out.